The water cannot be turned on until the leak is repaired. The repair is much more severe than initially thought. This day is not a good day. Where is it? <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> I hate so much. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Something's wrong, majorly wrong. What is happening? I am so tired right now. I can't even. <sighs> Oh, the grizzly bear. So, he can't see right now. We forgot to tell the groomer the other day that he needs to be able to, she needs to, be able, she needs to cut his hair to the point where he can see. He can't see right now, so he needs to do some cutting of his hair. So he can see, look at that poor guy. He can't see through there. He's blind. Grit, hold grit. So you gotta hold still, buddy. Good job, buddy, good boy. Oh, you're doing such a good job, Chris. Starting to see his eyes a little bit. See that? Just a little bit. That's better. That's not bad, is it? Due to emergency repair, the water to the community has been off since yesterday. We're sorry we didn't let you know sooner. This has brought to our attention. It has been brought to our attention that the repair is much more severe than initially thought. We have a plumber in the community to work on the repair. The water cannot be turned on until the leak is repaired. No one may turn the water on. The water must stay off. Thank you for co your cooperation and patience in this matter. So, there's nowhere where it says where when the water's gonna be turned on. I need to shower and I need to go to the bathroom. So, I'm gonna have to mark up my mom. This day is not a good day. I already want to cry, but I'm not going to. What's out there, Geek? A ginormous hawk! Oh my gosh. That is ginormous. That thing's gonna be good. I need a better lens that I can see bigger. Whoa, that is huge. That's massive. Yeah, it is. It's probably, what, three feet tall? Yeah. I'm sitting here eating food and I heard something. It better not turn off. I'm flushing the toilets before they turn off so we can have water in the toilets. I'm making sure we have water. So we walked in here and the wall all just fell down. This is so much tape that you guys use. <laughs> it looks like in movies when they're like doing the motion picture effect or whatever and they have the blue dots all over the suit yeah. to make it. Yes, yeah, so that's what it looks like. But all of the walls just fell down. So it's gonna make our job a little easier. So. Now it's time to take this all down. It's been like, what, two weeks since you put it up? Oh God, yeah. It's crazy. So now we're gonna take it down so we can pack up my room. Okay, now the whole room, it's all unpacked. There's not any more wall, wallpaper, no wrapping paper anywhere. It like looks so blank and boring right now. But it's really messy and I have to pack all of this up today. And we have like, an hour and 15 minutes, so we have to leave to the movie. So like an hour to get it all packed up. So let's see if we can do it, Lizzie. Lizzie's gonna help me since I helped her with her room. Too bad there aren't fairies that will come and finish this for Savannah. Yeah. You can grab some stuff and bring it to the Suburban, right? Probably. Let's go, I grab some stuff. I don't know exactly what's about to, to modify leave. yet. Minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're watching the new Avatar movie and we have five minute intermission and it was like they cut it off like one of the coolest spots, but so far really good. Brock? Ah. Where is it? Okay, stop. Pause, pause, pause. Why don't push him this way, push him that way. I hate my so much. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so the only thing I hate worse than mice is snakes, and what I hate the worst is snakes eating mice. Oh, that makes me so sick. A serial killer mouse? No, I said people that own mice as pets are usually serial. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't catch the mouse. 
was really hoping to catch the mouse, but. I scared rock. rock. Anyway, I actually didn't really want to catch the mouse. I just wanted to see him. It was tiny. He was like that big around. Just a tiny little guy. All right, well, it, the night is late. It is late. It is bedtime so we can get out before noon tomorrow. Whatever. It's not bedtime. We got lots to do. I'm tired. So I have a trader to unload. Ooh. Having three washers and dryers is the best thing I have been able to do. Well, I think I only did three loads of laundry today, but if I did three loads of laundry at the other house in the washer and dryer that was there, that is so slow. It would have taken me all day long to do it. So thankful, I'm very thankful, very thankful for being able to do all the laundry at the same time. We loaded up the coolers in the trailer and then we had to hurry and go to the movie. So. They have been outside the whole time and I'm hoping that everything is still cold and the frozen things are still frozen. We're gonna find out right now. All right, let's see, true test. Hey, it's still frozen. That is great news. The jam's all still frozen. Even the popsicles are frozen, sweet. I mean, if it was 100 degrees outside, it probably wouldn't be frozen. We got problems, yo. Something's wrong. Major, majorly wrong. What is happening? What is happening right now? What is happening? Why is the water going down? Johnny came out here and he's like, let's look at our puddle situation. And I'm like, puddle situation? It's like, yeah, to see if we're having any water issues with the rain. It doesn't look like we're having any water issues with the rain. And then he's like, what the heck with our hot tub? I am so tired right now. I can't even. <sighs> what is happening? Oh, that's why. You need to go the other way. It's pulling from the spa. Need to pull from the pool and fill that spa up. There we go. And then that one needs to be pouring in towards. The return needs to go into the spa. And now let's see what happens. Okay, this should start filling up now. The return was going into the pool, partially the pool. So the valve had turned somewhere somehow and the drain was draining only from the hot tub, not the pool. So the water was going in there after going through the pumps and it was being pulled down through here. Does it look like it's getting more? It looks like it is, it's going up, isn't it? Okay, so that hot tub is supposed to work independently of the pool and so the reason they have those two separate valves is so that you can run the hot tub and heat it and not have any of the water recirculate back in the pool because if it goes in the pool, then you gotta heat the whole entire pool and the hot tub. Well, what it was just doing was dumping water partially into the pool and partially into the hot tub um, and not, if you notice, that one valve wouldn't open all the way towards the pool, sorry, towards the hot tub only for whatever reason, I'll have to figure that out tomorrow. But what was happening was the pumps were still running and it was draining out of the hot tub and partially pushing into the pool in the hot tub. Let's go see if we're getting anywhere with this thing. It's been a few minutes. Sounding better. Okay, we're filling up now. We're also getting some rain out here and as you can see, there's water on that, that pool cover. And so when I opened it to check it out, I thought that maybe we had ripped it. Um, but this is the part that I wanna show you guys it's pretty exciting. Those of you who have been following along for the last two years, those of you that have seen the flood video um, and seen what happened to our, our house and our yard before when it rained before, this area right here is where we had most of our issues. In fact, that right there, that is where all the water went in before. And you can see we have the cover on it now. But look underneath of there, do you see that? That is dry, that is dry. That is dry all the way up and around. In fact, we don't even have much getting wet up here. There's the drain going that way like it's supposed to, and there's the drain going this way like it's supposed to. And all the water coming down from the yard, this direction is going into that drain right there, 
that drain right there and this drain right here. In fact, we have this area that's wet. It's a little bit wet. We've got some, a little bit of water, but a lot of this comes off the roof right there. You can see right there and it drips down and it goes into that drain right there. In fact, yep, it's working. You can see the water down in there right now. So I can't say that we've had a major, major flood type rainstorm um, since we had these drains put in and everything fixed out here. But from the patterns of the water right now and the way things are looking, it's working out really well. Okay, what do we got here? There we go, looking good. Okay, so you can probably guess what's gonna happen next. The water is now gonna start flowing up over the side of the hot, uh, the hot tub, the spa, and into the pool. So as soon as it gets to that point, I think we'll stop the pump. Um, there's no reason for it to run anymore tonight, and uh, we'll close the cover because then the water will be there. And let's check these. Very interesting. So like I said, I'll get out here tomorrow and just do some checking. Just getting ready to pour over the side here. There it goes. Just like that. That's what we wanted. Now we can close that cover. Looking good. Oh, there it is. Another day in our house. Um, obviously, we had some other things that uh, came up today to pull us out of the house. Sarah and I had not had left the house for the last two days and it's been phenomenal. It is nice to be home. It's nice to be in our home. After all that's uh, happened here in terms of getting ready and getting this home ready, it is nice to be here. <laughs> I just, as you can tell, I just sit here and wander around, wander around, wander around, and look at the countertops and all the different things. But uh, all these different things don't mean anything unless we have the family here with us. And um, it was nice to see Ty and Danielle tonight. I uh, can't wait to see Allie. She's coming, guys. And uh, to see Branson today. We missed Mara and Neymar today. But um, of all of these things that uh, we did to this house in terms of putting it together, the part that I love the most is the opportunity that we are creating to gather. And that's just it right here. It's just gathering, gathering. Uh, together with friends and family and and I'm um, just I'm just kind of overwhelmed with it overwhelmed in a positive way with the opportunity that we have now to to gather in a different way and uh, just loving it having a little extra space uh, definitely helps that out and the dogs uh, we're starting to uh, slowly let them back into the home as you guys know before they were they were most of the time they were outside and um, because the space just wasn't big enough for them to to come in and not be right up in our grill. And uh, anyway, there's plenty of space for them now. So we're slowly integrating them back into the house and it's exciting. All of it is very exciting. Anyway, thank you for coming along this little journey with us today. We love you guys. Never forget your value. Never forget that you're here for a reason. Never forget that those that are around you are there to be inspired by or for you or to inspire you. There are reasons for everything. We love you guys. Never forget that. You are worth it.